today I'm just going to briefly, and I do hope it's going to be briefly, address something that's come up. Um, I'm, I knew, in fact, my wife and I, we knew when we first started this that there would be sort of inflection points in this process of um, addressing uh, certain questions in the quarter and thinking for ourselves and presenting a, a body of work that wasn't, uh, that didn't, uh, didn't assume Brand Islam's conclusions. Obviously, when you throw a cat among the pigeons, there's a, a certain amount of feathers fly, and that, that's got to be expected. But I just want to clarify one thing, uh, which is to do with money. Now, I give away all of my work. Everything that I produce can be downloaded for free. I hold nothing back, absolutely nothing. Um, all of my work is available for free. and But that's not enough. There is... Uh, this seems to be almost like a, it seems to be that this is almost like a, a, a almost like a degree in the process of of doing anything. You, you tend to attract these people who unfortunately can't really seem to get any traction themselves or do anything themselves. But they, the way they sort of manage to kind of scramble into out of obscurity is by attacking people who are doing something. Um, I'm not going to put the link to to this particular person but there is somebody now out there i now have an official hater <laughs> it's, it's um i mean an active one somebody's actually set up a youtube channel or youtube video in any case to decry my my crimes i'm sure he's going to be the first of many so in a way in a way it's a badge of honor you know when we started this uh, i said to my wife you know these people will crawl out of the under the undergrowth and now the first one has as usual He's anonymous, he, he won't use his real name, but in essence, I'm sure you can look him up and find him and you're welcome to, but in essence what he says is that um, he quotes lots of correct Quranic verses, they're not incorrect, they're in the Quran, he's right, They are. there are such verses in the Quran, which says, follow those who do not ask for payment. Now, I'm just going to clarify a couple of things. The first is, is that I'm not out looking for followers. That's not exactly what I'm doing. I'm presenting my findings. That's just the first thing, just to be clear. If people like what I do, great. If they can improve on what I do, fine. That, that's my position. I'm presenting my findings. That's just the first thing. The second is that it's it's true that in order to do this, I had to take a, a firm decision on letting my previous career slide and and believe me when when you do what i do if you're in an, any sort of um you know a uh, job that which requires qualifications and for which there's any competition you know anything outside of the sort of taxi driver belt <clears throat> people look you up online and the second you've put your name to this kind of thing um if there's a choice between you and someone else who's equally well qualified and you're known for explaining to over a billion Muslims why it is that the Quran, you know, their understanding of the Quran isn't correct. And there's another guy who is less likely to have, um, you know, bombs sent to his place of, of work, then they're going to take the second guy. You see, it doesn't it, you don't need to be a genius to work that one out. And we knew this, you know, in, in our household before we started this. And, and that's fine. We've, you know, our reward is, is with God and we're happy with that. And that's nobody else's problem. That's that's fine. Also, uh, um, however, the, the 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 point really is to do with the the concept of payment. What this person is misunderstanding is what payment means. You see, payment in the in the way that the, the Quran uses this term, and it's, it's quite right in the, in the verses. You know that you shouldn't ask for payment and so on. Payment, my friend, is to do with when it's an exchange of goods at an agreed price. Now, if you go into Sainsbury's or a supermarket, wherever you live, and you take goods off the shelf and you get to the cash, you know, the checkout, they're going to ask for payment. It's not, it's not, you know, a matter of choice whether you pay or not for those things. You can, you can try not to pay. And if you don't pay, then certain consequences will happen. Certain things will happen because, because there's a transaction at a degreed price. That's what payment is. So that's just, to be clear, that's not what I do. Nobody, absolutely nobody, who's taken my work is under any obligation whatsoever. And I've made that work, 536,000 words of, 
of in, you know several years of intense work at, at the price that we've paid um, and which we are happy to pay but I make that all free I've read my entire translation on, onto YouTube for free it's one of the reasons why although many people suggest I use Patreon I've decided up to now not to use it because it excludes people they can't they can't do that so I've never done that I've never ever asked for payment you it's just a fact now if you're also saying that it's not acceptable for me to accept donations from people who wish to donate, well, you're, the verses that you're quoting are completely inappropriate because what you're talking about is payment. And I ask for payment from nobody, absolutely nobody. Very few people, very believe me, very few people donate or contribute in any way. And that's fine too. But it's not payment. It's an incorrect It's an incorrect. Um, supposition that you're working upon that any of this is for payment and you know seeing as you do rather like to quote verses from the Quran I, I have one for you which uh, which may be of interest and for, for the other people who uh, I'm really you know I make these kinds of videos not because I really like to but it means I don't have to answer the same thing more than once and this is uh, Surah 68 which um, Al-Qalam and it says at verse 46 if thou ask of them a reward or payment, then are they encumbered by liability. And, and that's correct. That's, I mean, it continues. I mean, the, the, in, the implication and the context is that, that Muhammad did not ask for, for payment or, you know, for a reward. <clears throat> but this is really the definition of payment when, or asking for payment is that the other person is under an obligation of some kind. Nobody, absolutely nobody, um, is under any obligation whatsoever, whatsoever. I freely make my work available to everybody, and tens of thousands of, of downloads. I've lost, uh, actually, I'm not uh, exactly aware how many at the moment, but you know, thousands upon thousands download it for free every month, and that's absolutely fine. A very few, a very few, come back and say thank you. And, and a much, much smaller number than even those occasionally give something by way of thanks. And it, but it isn't, an, it isn't in any way payment. It, that's just not what payment means. And if you, you, know, you wish to test the difference between payment and what it is and what it isn't, try not paying when you go to the shop and you know, see what happens. And that's just the, the fact of it. So I, I, I'm sorry that you don't feel that you can't get any traction any other way. Um, I'm sure there is a better way of spending spending your time. But m misrepresenting and you know misleading people, it, it seems a bit of a waste of time to me. Um, you're very welcome to download my work as well if if, if you haven't and, and take it for free as as is everybody else. And uh, and you're also invited if you wish to to make a contribution. And if you don't, that's absolutely fine as well. But if you did decide to, that wouldn't be payment, not by any stretch of the imagination. That's all for now. If you're listening on YouTube, you can download my full translation of the Quran free using the button in the top right hand corner or buy the hard copy there at 10% less than on Amazon. I also encourage you to sign up for the Quranite Plus newsletter on the site to get occasional micro updates. You can download the audio from my YouTube videos to your mobile device using the links in the drop down below. I recommend meetquoranites.com to connect with other Quran alone believers. Like if you like, comment if you have something constructive to say and subscribe to get more each week. And use the link in the drop down below to donate if you would like to help me keep doing this. And remember, this life is short, eternity is long. If you want good trees, plant good seeds. Right, peace be upon you. Um, the Quran alone, yes, it's another one. I found this video and they uh, responded to someone else, which I'd done a video the other day, so I just wanted to run through it and just see what you were saying about everything. Um, and I'm going to go through and respond to what he's been saying in order to just see if maybe I made a mistake or, you know, I should pull it down or whatever. So, Mr. Gerrins, you said you were giving away everything that you produce and it can be downloaded for free and you said you hold nothing back. All, I repeat, all of your work is available for free. 
and you said and that's not enough assuming that people want your house your car and possibly your clothes etc now you said all of your work the Quranite.com is your work the paperback Quran is your work and the channel is your work well the channel you have a button that you can uh, donate okay uh, which if you didn't want anything from the channel you wouldn't have a button there so no one could donate you sell your uh, Quran paperback Quran um, so that you're selling the verses and the words of Allah yeah that's payment for the words of Allah um, you are you charge to join your Quran meet Quranites.com you charge for that because I've been over and it is a fee okay if you seriously didn't want anything uh, for the work you're doing there it would all be for free it'd be open to join there'd be only the PDF translation and you'd have no donate button um, you say that you know those people that mention this to to you or attack you we're not attacking you I'm not attacking you yeah it's not playing the victim do it because they don't get any traction but the trouble is, is if you're claiming you get traction and we don't get traction, that's why we're attacking you. Wallahi, I am not doing it for likes, dislikes, gaining popularity. I'm doing it for Allah. I'm trying to give you information to save you from hellfire if, it, if the information I'm giving to you is necessary. You also say that they only attack you because you are doing something. What's to say that they're not doing something? If they have a channel and have videos on it, we're doing something. So don't come with that one. You claim you have an official hater. We don't. I don't hate you. I don't hate you. And you're playing a victim again. You're pulling out that violin. Now, you mentioned they do this to expose your crimes. You've admitted that, or you've said, you mentioned they do this to expose your crimes then you say it's a badge of honor well one I wouldn't say it was a crime myself okay if it wasn't a crime and two I wouldn't class it as a badge of honor for someone to mention something to you that you class as a crime because we don't class it as a crime we class it as a reminder you claim that these will crawl out from under the undergrowth basically calling us creatures, insects, things like that, yeah, which is very, very uh, rude from you. You say you're not looking for followers and no one said you was, okay? You say it's true in order to do this, you had to, you had to make a firm decision on letting your previous career slide. Well, unfortunately, that is your problem. That is no one else's problem. You done it that way. Okay, so you've got to live with it. But any other person would have kept their work or what they had and they would do this on the side and still get the message across. Okay? Uh, this is not about competition and this is not about choice. You're still playing the victim. You're still playing the victim. You said you, you know, you give away everything. Um, no, wait. So yeah, you're still playing the victim for that one, okay? Because that was your choice to give up your career to do this, all right? Um, you say that your reward is with God, and I agree, but also your punishment is with God and everyone else. This is what payment means. This is what you said. An exchange of goods at agreed price, all right? Then you started mentioning about Sainsbury's and all that. You go get goods from a shelf, you go and get your cash out to pay for it. And if you don't pay, then certain consequences will happen because there's a transaction at agreed price. That is exactly what you do with your paperback Quran. Okay? So that is payment for God's words. Because you're getting goods at an agreed price. If you don't pay, you don't get the goods. If you pay, you get the goods. Yes, people have got the option whether they want that or not because you've got an option for the uh, the free PDF. If you've got the option for the free PDF, why are you selling even... Why have you even 
sold one or two of them, you shouldn't have no paperback that you can make money on. Or even not make money on or get money from. Because that is still um, an exchange of goods at an agreed price. You claim that's not what you do. Nobody who's taken my work uh, is not under any obligation. And we know it's not under any obligation. Uh, if you you say if you're asking for me not to take donations because it's not acceptable from people that want to donate, then the verses you are quoting are completely inappropriate and misleading. Um, I think you'll find that uh, they're not inappropriate and they're not misleading. You're playing the victim again because if you go back to where where you quoted, this is what payment means: an exchange of goods at an agreed price. That's exactly what you do with your paperback. Um, Quran translation okay if you don't ask for payment or don't expect it then why do you have the payment the link where they people can donate at the bottom of your channel that would be non-existent like it is on my channel you say it is not payment by any means well I just I just mentioned what you what, what it is yeah, the payment means an exchange of goods at an agreed price and that's what you do with your Quran um, you say it's not uh, you say you know try not paying to go to the shop and see what happens anyway it could be resulted and regarded as begging as well I'm not too sure because I haven't really checked that out the, the you know the meanings of that behind that you say you you know um, you say you're sorry that you feel that they can't get any traction no other way and you say that I'm sure there is a better way of spending your time this is not as I said this is not a way of getting subscribers this is not a way of getting popularity this is simply reminding you of something that you're doing okay that is quite um, God mentions um, it, it in a stern way okay so we're trying to help you not not you know we're not trying to I'm not trying to gain anything out of it you have to understand Sam if you did not do something that raises an alarm then it wouldn't be mentioned and if you're implying that we should just sit there and let you continue or anyone else then we will be questioning their judgment. You, know, you do not respond to your messages and you block people for no reason. So I'm sorry, but videos have to be made. And how is this misrepresenting or misleading people? And you say this is a waste of time for you. So you say if you would like to make a contribution that this is not payment. But as I said, previous of what you do with the Quran and it come out of your mouth not mine so why have you as I said got that little donate button you know there in the first place if it was not it could be a form of begging I don't know I don't know yeah charity is all depending on you know the severity that it can be classed as begging I don't know what is you know uh, I mean I don't know I don't know what it is but just take down that button down you also charge, obviously, for your Quranite website to meet other Quranites. Okay, but obviously that wouldn't be classed as what you said. It's not an exchange of goods. Um, did Muhammad call himself... Oh, also, did Muhammad, sell, Muhammad call himself a Quranite? Now, you said at Quranite.com to meet with Quran alone believers. Now, are you Quran alone or are you a Quranite? Yes, you do give your Quran for free, but you should have left it at that. Then you go on to say that you can buy the hard copy at 10% less uh, than Amazon. And then use the link down below to donate if you would like to help me keep doing this. Now, there is a tactic behind what you're saying, okay? Because no one needs to donate to keep this going. Yeah, Allah is the sustainer in every way. You know, it was a choice you made to give up your career, not anyone else's. Now, I'm going to repeat these verses, yeah? 
and you know them. But do not follow those who ask for money in order to bring you the truth. Right? Your Lord and Creator is saying to you in chapter 36 verse 21. Rather follow those who do not ask of any payment and they are rightly guided. Chapter 26 verse 162 to 164. Lut. Uh, he didn't want any payment. Uh, chapter 11 verse 51. Hud. He didn't want no payment. Chapter 26 verse 145. Sali. He didn't want any payment. Chapter 11 verse 29, Noah didn't want any pavement. Chapter 26 verse 180, Shuaib didn't want no pavement. Chapter 6 verse 84 to 90, uh, those are the ones whom God has guided, as well as Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David and Solomon, Job and Joseph, Moses, Aaron, Zachariah and John, Jesus and Ishmael and Jonah, etc. So from their guidance, take an example, say, I ask of you for this message, no, I'm, I mean, re I repeat, no pavement. It is not but a reminder for the world. Chapter 23, verse 72 to 74. Or do you ask them for payment, but the reward of your Lord is best, and he is the best of providers, and indeed you invite them to a straight path, but indeed those who do not believe in the hereafter are deviating from the path. Um, chapter 34, verse 47. Say, uh, instead, whatever payment I might have asked of you, it is yours, my payment only from God, and he is over all things witness. Chapter three, verse seventy-seven: The ones who purchase, with, the ones who purchase with the pledge of God, and their oaths, a cheap price. Those will have no portion in the hereafter, and God will not speak to them, nor will He look at them on the day of resurrection, nor will He purify them, and they will have a painful retribution. So, do not make a living out of delivering the message of God. If you make any wealth of the dean, you will be put to the fire, and he will not talk to you or look at you that day because apparently God is not powerful enough to sustain them now as I said and what you said you said a payment is receiving goods let me go back to that um, you said that payment means an exchange of goods at an agreed price you do that with your um, your, tra your paperback translation of the Quran and it come from your mouth it didn't come from mine okay so this verse does apply to you uh, so if you think it's an attack on that it's not it's not we're trying to save you from fire uh, and on this day's work obviously you know I've gone on to that on my other uh, video which you can go and you know check out uh, chapter 5 verse 44 we sent down the Torah wherein his guidance on night the prophets who submitted there by those who hold to Judaism as did the men of God and the religious scholars with what they were given charge of from the law of God here what they were given charge of from the law of God and were there two witnesses then fear not mankind but fear me and sell not my proofs for a cheap price that means there's no price when it comes to the proofs of Allah and as I said we go back to the Quran again that you're selling that you agreed that that was the definition of payment and whoever so judges not by what God has sent down by those, they are the rejectors, while claiming virtue. The Quran is not asking you to give your money to God. God is telling you all to spend your money in his path of, and God, he's not telling you to spend it all and sit on the side with nothing. But he's not asking you to take money for it either. Uh, chapter, two, verse 70, chapter 2, verse 272. Uh, not upon you is responsibility for their guidance, but Allah guides whom he wills, and whatever good you believers spend is for yourselves, and you do not spend except seeking the countenance of Allah, and whatever you spend of good, it will be fully repaid to you, and you will not be wronged. Okay? So, as I said, it goes on, and I've, I've already mentioned this in, you know, my other, I don't want to uh, go into it, because this is not, it was, this is just meant to be a quick, um, quick video, to be honest with you. Uh, now you call yourself a Quranite, uh, I have an issue with that, uh, you call yourself a Quranite, um, but then you say to me on your Quranite.com, you say to me on the end of your videos, you say to me Quran alone believers. Now are you a Quran alone, or are you a Quranite, and was Muhammad Quran alone, or was he a Quranite? Okay, did he follow the Quran alone, or was he a Quranite? Now that to me is a sect, uh, just like Qurani, the Quranist, 
um, uh, 19 or whatever they the the submitters and you know things like that. So Allah says, as for those who divide their religion and break up into sects, thou has no part in them in the least. Their affair is with Allah. He will in the end tell them the truth of all that they did. Chapter 6 verse 159. Uh, Allah is telling you, uh, your religion is submission to Allah alone. You people have left the path of Allah, i.e. the Quran alone, and followed others other than just Allah, which is Quran alone. We ask ourselves, did the Prophet and the companions follow anyone else other than the Quran alone? You created your sect just by setting up partners with the Book of Allah, i.e. man-made hadiths. This is the start of the sect. You're breaking away from the book. Then you have all the other sects of this break. Okay? So I'm not saying that you follow hadiths and all that. I'm not saying that. Yeah? Allah says, and hold fast altogether. How do we do this? Obviously, you know all this, the Quran alone. That's it, by the rope of Allah, which Allah stretches out for you, the Quran alone. And do not be divided amongst yourselves, breaking away from the Quran alone. So by you calling yourself Quranite, or any other group calling themselves what they call them, you're breaking away from the Quran alone. And remember with gratitude, Allah's favour on you, for ye were enemies. Why was we enemies? Because of belief, and no belief, shirk Allah. And he joined your hearts in love, how did this happen? The Quran alone. So that by his grace ye become brethren and ye were on the brink of a pit of fire and he saved you from it. Thus doth Allah make his signs clear to you that ye may be guided. How will we be guided? Quran alone. Chapter 3 verse 103. So those who split up their religion and become mere sects, how did the religion split by abandoning the Quran alone? Each party rejoicing in that which it is with itself. Chapter 30 verse 32 All sects are haram If you identify yourself as a Sunni Shia, Wahhabi or any other sect Does not matter how big or small a sect You have left the folds of Islam Call yourself a Muslim and follow the Quran alone If you call yourself Sunni Shia, Wahhabi, Al-Hadith or any other group Then, uh, you know It's already explanatory there So as I said, I'm not here to attack And if anyone listens to this um, message to the brother don't be commenting to me and saying are you doing another video and all that I'm just responding to the video that he made and I see us you know I see something he said um, and his definition of payment uh, that he didn't and um, you know unfortunately Sam you did mate yeah as I said, I'm going to repeat that again so that anyone who hears this knows exactly that I'm not attacking. I just I spotted something and it needs to be mentioned. This is what Sam said. Payment means an exchange of goods at an agreed price. Well, your agreed price in your goods is a translation of the paperback Quran or hardback Quran. When, as I said, you don't need to have all that. You don't need to charge for your Quranite.com if you didn't really want, if you was really working for Allah. You don't need to um, issue the, you, you've got it on free, on PDF, and your link button, that doesn't need to be there. Anyway, so it's not an attack, it's just a wake up call. I'm here to sort of, uh, you know, we have to warn each other, we have to save each other from hellfire. And if you think it's an attack, because you think we're out to take your livelihood away or whatever, it's not that. Wallahi, by Allah, it's not that. Okay? So stop playing the victim. Stop playing the violins. Yeah? And, um, you know, maybe we can get together one day and uh, do a live stream together and put all this behind us. You know? Uh, yes, I have thoughts myself, which I'm working on. But one thing, I will not commit shirk. I will not sell the deen for no price no price if I've got no money I will still do what I can do to get the message out there even if it's talking to people on the street so anyway on top of that uh, may Allah keep you safe may Allah keep all the people that are listening safe please subscribe if you want to subscribe if you don't I'm not too bothered to be honest with you uh, I just think we need to be a tight-knit community and, and stop all this group Quranite, Quranian and all this uh, it's, it's nonsense. We follow, we're Muslims and we follow the Quran alone. That's it. Finished with. So until next time, peace.